for the first time since 2019, the Georgia Port Authority delivered a State of the Port Address today, and it was held at the Savannah Convention Center. And this year's event comes on the heels of a global supply chain disruption. Our Brooke Butler tells us how the port is doing and what the future might hold. The Georgia Ports Authority announced today that despite supply chain issues brought on by the pandemic, the state of Savannah's port is strong. We are now the hub port for the southeast. We're the gateway port and the choice first choice for customers coming to the southeast. During their state of the port address on Thursday, the Georgia Ports Authority announced while they're in a solid place right now, the past two years haven't been easy. Pre pandemic, an import container would sit on our terminal for four days, it would dwell for four days. What does that mean? We discharge it off the ship. It takes four days on average for the container to get picked up by a truck or put onto rail. Today, it's 10 days. A GPA says the amount of containers at the port has skyrocketed. Pre pandemic, they had 45,000 containers on the terminal. Now, it's over 80,000. So what we should have on terminal right now is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 55,000 containers. But the GPA says the port has come up with a series of solutions. One of the newest, pop-up container yards. It is something that we do to get inventory off facility to eliminate that 80,000 and reduce it so we can open the terminal up and turn ships. The Ports Authority is also finishing up its mega rail program this year. It's also successfully attracted more truck drivers. And since mid-November, we have seen an increase of 90 drivers per week. Moving forward, the Ports Authority says they want to continue to increase capacity and make room for larger ships. And they have projects in the works to make that happen. Look, Georgia's leading the country, really, in finding solutions. And these are things that were this team at Georgia Ports Authority and Griff's team were working on really months before it got all political and a lot of people from the government got involved because they just, they're trying to serve their customers. And we should note another thing that's going to help the Port of Savannah is the Savannah Harbor Expansion Project, which is expected to wrap up in just 19 days. Reporting in Savannah, I'm Brooke Butler, WJCL 22 News. And the Georgia Ports Authority didn't mention replacing the Talmadge Bridge during their address today. We asked them about it afterwards, and they said there is a study underway. Now, they won't make any decisions until that study is completed, which will likely happen this summer.